taste world today, one of the things that often gets sacrificed is the time spent gathering around the family dinner table. Well, Iris Ray cooking with her mother and dinners with family were amongst their fondest childhood memories. So she decided to bring all those recipes to life for her family and for future generations in a cookbook aptly titled No Place Like Home. Iris and her son Michael join us today to tell us about the book and demonstrate some of their delicious home cooked meals. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Morning. Great, thank you. I have to say that um, I'm old fashioned myself. I love to make good old fashioned pot roasts and, and meatloafs and, and things like that. And it's really nice You'll to find see that you're sharing it. some of those yummy comfort foods that you grew up uh, and making. Tell us about how you created this cookbook. Well, I grew up with, in the kitchen with my mother always cooking. Mm -hmm. And um, I cooked them for years just like her and the recipes followed down. And she passed away in 2006. And I said, Michael and I talked about we needed to write down the recipes because we do a lot of cooking with and not measuring, just putting stuff together. Mm. So we decided it took us 14 months. There's over 150 recipes and we cooked each and every one. And as we were cooking, we had to measure everything to go in there. That's different, isn't it? Wow. Different, yeah. Math watering recipes. I might add. Yeah. <laughs> and um, anyway, so then some friends of ours told us you should have that book published. So Michael started looking on the internet for self publishing companies. Uh, we found a company to do it, and they put the book on the internet, and other sites have been picking it up. It's really selling well. Uh, it's an inspirational cookbook. I have Bible verses in it, and uh, we did it as a tribute to my mother. And, uh, and our side. Now, how exciting is that to write a book with all your family recipes in it and your home cook and, and have people take to it and, and actually want to buy this and bring this into their homes? Oh, it's, it's, it's awesome. It is. It, it really is great. It, you know. it really shows that many people just want to kind of go back to simplicity and, right. and have that family feeling. Mm -hmm. So right. speaking of family feeling, it's smelling really yummy <laughs> right here. What have you got cooking okay. in okay. here? <laughs> oh, 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 that, that looks yummy. Let's get this in. We're, we have, this is picadillo. It's in the book. Uh, we have two pounds of 90% lean ground beef. Uh, one large green pepper, two large onions, nine cloves of garlic. Nine cloves of garlic. Nine cloves. Very nice. Okay. So, the visiting vampires don't invite <laughs> okay. them. Okay. And then, um, then we added lemon juice and uh, sasson seasoning, which you can find in any grocery store. Okay. Okay. And now we're getting ready to add in the tomato sauce. Okay. What kind of seasoning was that again? Sesson. Sesson. You find okay. that in the ethnic section of the grocery store. Okay. okay. And what would you say is your favorite recipe in your cookbook? Do you have one? Well, look at me. I, they're all favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's always that one dish that's just your favorite yeah. that really reminds you of your yeah. childhood or growing up. Um, I, I like spaghetti and yeah. my mother's Italian meatloaf. And, um, Actually, there's not too much I don't like. <laughs> That's my problem. It looks like you're getting ready to put some bay leaves in there. Yes, we are. Yes, and how okay. many of those are going in? Uh, four or five. Wow. Okay. okay. That's a lot of a lot of bay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this, is, this is highly seasoned. All right. Mm. And then it looks like you've got the full gamut for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert. You've got drinks exactly. in there. What all? What all's in there that we can look forward to? So, uh, we have beverages all the way from beverages all the way uh, appetizers, desserts, pies and cakes, just a little bit of everything. And how long does this have to cook? Uh, around 15 minutes. Uh, this is a very easy dish, especially for people that come in from work and don't want to make a long project. It all goes in one skillet, very easy to make. Um, we're going to add the olives to it now, and then we're going to cook it until it gets thick. Mm. Those are stuffed uh, Spanish olives? Yes, they are. With pimentos. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And we have something cooking over here as well, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just the rice. So this okay. you serve, we have the finished product for you to taste. Now you say just the rice, but is this not the special family mother's or grandmother's rice? That one isn't. Now, I do have a special recipe in there from scratch, but that one is just a package for, one for today. For yellow rice? For yellow rice and chicken. And how far does that go back? Oh. Oh. I started eating that when three or four years old. My mother used to cook my grandmother and my mother. Yeah. I think that's awesome because a lot of these recipes just get lost. They do. You know, through, my grandmother used to make so many things that none of us actually really uh, got to, a chance to write down these recipes, so they're kind of lost through the, you know, our upbringing. Now we can't repeat them. So it's neat that you guys are bringing this experience back into many of our homes. Now while this cooks, M Michelle wants I, to experience this yeah, cake. Look at I'm it. I'm having a fit over here with oh, these Let me move this out of the way. Okay. These look Look, unbelievable. Okay. Settle in, Missy. What Settle is this here? 
Okay. With the walnuts. This is a red velvet cake with cream cheese icing. Mm. And this cake is a rum cake. Only for people over 21, there's lots of room in this cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it doesn't it's bake off. No, it doesn't bake off because you add it in at the very end, especially the glaze. Oh, good times. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then this is your a family's story. a lot like well, my family. That <laughs> your, home, your home cooking's like our home drinking. That's, All right. Okay. That's an evening cake. <laughs> and then this is our sour cream pound cake. My mother, has, I remember this cake back from a child, and I remember one Christmas, my mother making 18 of those cakes to give to friends. Yeah. So um, anyway, so this is one of our oldest recipes. And how'd you make those pretty designs on there? You put a lace doily on the top and you sprinkle powdered sugar. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Well, now, um, oh, oh, yes, Can you Michelle. slice that? Because okay. I have to see how pretty that is. Yes, Michelle, that. you want to see I how pretty it is inside? Is that what you're saying? I have a feeling. Oh, yeah, they fell for that. Okay. All right, I will slice this so you can see how pretty it looks. <laughs> Ooh, it's already velvety on the knife. See? <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to not only show the slice that you want to see with your fork, but the inside. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. See? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Something. Let's turn this around to the camera, show how pretty that is. And that is a heck yeah, of a. That's okay. You can hold that up, Michelle. Look at that. Okay. Wow. Ooh, very red and very velvety. Now, how did you get it red and velvety? Uh, with red food coloring. With, oh. Family secret. All right, <laughs> see see how that looks in your mouth, Michelle. All righty. All right, and then that rum cake's real pretty as well. And what other kind of? No, uh, back off. You can taste that later. <laughs> <laughs> we can't have that now. <laughs> well, let's let's uh, let's also taste the uh, picadillo. Okay, you want to get this out? Okay. And is this what uh, what nationality is the picadillo? It's a Latin origin. So some people say it's Cuban, mm. Italian, Spanish. Um, I don't know, I've been around it for years, I don't know what it is really, but it's, it's Latin origin. Mm, Excellent. That is fantastic. How is that, Michelle? It's fantastic. Okay, okay where can I get your your cookbook? <laughs> well, you got, a, you got a book signing coming up in uh, March 15th? We do, at, at Carrollwood Barnes & Nobles. Okay. And we will actually be doing a food demonstration they asked us to do. So you're protesting? Uh, <laughs> okay, so you, you'll actually be cooking like this? Possibly, they've asked us to cook this, so whether we cook this or something else, we'll be cooking for them. Excellent. Do you have any other cookbooks on the horizon? Yes, we do. You do? Uh, we're working on No Place Like Home for the Holidays. Oh, that's wonderful. There's a song in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so, does this go over the yellow rice? Yes, yes. I should probably rice. do that. Okay. Yeah. Excuse you, <laughs> little Miss Cake. I'm ready to eat that too now. I know you are. Okay, I'll let you. Right, please. Yummy. All right, this is really attractive yellow rice. Here, let me get you some of the picadillo too, Michelle. Okay. Mm. Make sure you get some olives. Well, more olives for Michelle. She likes the olives. That All right. really makes the flavor of the olives. Okay. Enjoy, Michelle. Thank you so much. I'll eat after my rum cake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's going to be an interesting show if you eat that. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Michael that Harris. Thank you for joining fantastic. us. And uh, good luck with this wow. book and, and the next one as well. Okay. I hope you enjoy all the food. Oh, no. we're leaving it with y'all. Oh, yeah. thank, thank you so you. much. Just be sure you're 21. Are you getting everything you need from that?